Alright guys, we're down at Lake of the Ozarks, we're going snagging. We're going to get in the boat. I think there's four or five guys snagging today. And then T-Lane's going to come this afternoon. It's... Jesus Christ. Water 44.25 degrees this morning. All right, what's going on everybody? We're out Spoonbill snagging. Uh, we've done this last couple of years and uh, had a ton of fun. So we got four or five guys in the boat, so theoretically we catch 10 fish, but me and Bryce are just filming right now. So we're having a bunch of fun already and it's gonna be a bunch more fun. So we'll explain more as we go. Caden and Gage are gonna be snagging first. Bryce and I are going to film. We've got a GoPro right here. Should capture it all. Hopefully, we catch some big ones. Pull up. But hold it tight. We're going to hold the boat all the way down. Put it right here in the belly. Caden, look at me. <laughs> yeah, you're you're definitely gonna catch a fish. That's that's the little stroke we needed. Say less. Snag the boat. Got one. Here, K-Bob. Do you even have one, Cabo? He didn't feel like he's very big. Probably tired now. Your Red Bull's all over the floor now, buddy. Everybody moved over the side of the boat. I hooked him again in the bunghole. <laughs> Don't release him yet, Dad. All right, Gabe, uh, hold him up. Hold him, Gabe. Yeah. A little bit bigger, Kate. He would have given you a pretty good fight. Yeah. That one really didn't give much of a fight. <laughs> First one's in the boat. It's alright, I'll man up and take it. Alrighty. You ready? I did it last year with Tony and Mike Budd. I had Tony and Mike Budd in here and we were going. Somebody I had to hand me the bowl, I jerked it about four times and wham, I had one. <laughs> Poor Mud, he hadn't caught a fish all year. Yep. Oh my 
clear view. Clear view, yeah. You can set that up. You can set that clear view up. You can set the side of it where you can actually see like a defined spoon bill on it. We're 56 foot up here. Come on, Bryce. Okay, that makes more sense with the YouTube stuff now that he said anything. You got a fish? Oh, yeah. You got one? I don't know. I think it's a fish. It's a pretty big fish. Yeah. You want to jump on it? What is it, Brian? I don't know. It's got to be a fish. It was moving. Oh. That's a fish, yeah. Move, Caden. Caden. Only problem about these. Is it a fish? Stand up. Might be a snag. Was there anything down there that I could snag up on, Chad? I snag. Well, you wouldn't have been able to pull up that much line, I don't think. I think I'm pulling the boat to it. No, you're not. There's no way you're pulling it that much. <laughs> you're kidding. Nope. Dude, the boat's probably been a foot. It's just not moving at all. Hold on. Oh, yeah. He's not even that big. He's hog tied. Hog tied. <laughs> well, let's see, give me my pliers, Gage. Where's the pliers? You got one. That's so confusing. You think it's a hang up because they don't move. Let <laughs> 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 I me mean, think, Gage. I will well, grab them. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Is that your first one? Yeah. What do you think that one weighs, Travis? Like 30? Yeah, probably 30. Nice, Bryce. Dude, it felt like a snack for the <laughs> longest time. <laughs> that was the weirdest reeling ever. I know. I was like, dude, this is a snack. There's no way. And Travis and Gage are like, dude, you got a fish. Like, <laughs> that's not, like a, not a fight that I've ever felt in my life for a fish. Like, it's... Well, not going home empty handed, I guess. Nope, you got one, keeper. Is this the bottom down here? Oh, it's not going to run into it. Here. Yeah, that guy just got one. Really? Probably. I wonder what that 100 pounder felt like to pull up. That's crazy. That is very oh. sloppy. Oh, he's about off. About off? Yeah. Did he just get off? Yep. He got off? Yep. Are you shitting me? You didn't grab that rope? I tried. I've never lost a fish in my life. I just had this weird feeling that he's about to get off. He actually got off. <laughs> oh, you heard about that? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Why are you going for it? Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got it. Yeah, I pick it up while I'm fishing with Caden. I'm like, I just caught this bass. I was like, oh, look at this goose egg. And I go, huh, I wonder if there's anything in there. And I go, and he goes, boom. I'm like, there's rotten pieces. I just chucked it. I was like, oh. It exploded. Dude, it was in the middle of the summer, too. The pond water was freaking stinking hot. I was like, I, I freaking booked. I got in Caden's meal. I left Caden. I went back to his house. Dude, I've never had anybody grab my back and, like, straight up pick me up and just ride it. You see what you did? Yeah. He was like, he got me and he leaned forward, so I was like, okay, you can lean forward a little bit. He's not even moving, I was like, where is that? Wrapping up, there was a couple guys we knew that were still out on the lake. The guys from Barnhill Outdoors that have been subscribers since I really started my channel. Those guys were filming their whole trip out on the water and they got some awesome footage. So I'm gonna throw that in here. Thanks to them, 
Check out their channel at Barnhill Outdoors for hunting related content and outdoor podcasts. And check out these awesome fish they catch. Tim, you wanna you wanna reel this one in, bud? It's a fish, I think. Huh? I don't think I lost it. I don't know. Maybe I did lose it. I don't feel it anymore. Oh, nope, it's still there. Reel down, reel down. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Not even hooked. He's not hooked. I'm trying. I'm trying. Watch those hooks. He's just tied up. That's weird. All right, hang on. Hang on. We got hooks. Did that take off? Yeah, I did see it take off. I did see it take off. Oh yeah. Don't run again. Holy sh Nikes. Yeah, boy! I think I'm hooked up, and then it just took off. Like, okay. Don't have my tag on. Hey, old rusty. Oh, trusty rusty. I think there's three legs in here. Yeah, there's another one somewhere. What do you think? That was awesome. That's a good fish too. Solid fish, Tim. Your forearm's burning. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I'm just going to take that out right there and we're good. Clean. Done. Nice. <laughs> All right. We all took a nap, somewhat crappie fishing. Got back from this morning, caught two this morning. Snagging's been tough. We haven't uh, been marking a whole lot of fish and we haven't been catching a whole lot of fish. So we're gonna head out again this afternoon and uh, hopefully it's a little bit better. T Lane's back from football practice. So we got two or three guys that'll be snagging and uh, hopefully we can catch a few. Well, we snagged for the rest of the afternoon. We didn't really catch anything. We went a little bit on Sunday, but didn't catch anything either. This early in the season, sometimes the spoonbill haven't moved up to where we fish, so it takes a couple weeks for it to get really good. So we'll be down there the next couple weekends. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment. We're gonna be down there several more times and have a lot more videos of snagging coming. As always, have a good day, and we'll see you on the next one.